In a previous tutorial, I walked you through how to create or make your own advanced substation alpha styles in Subtitle Edit. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can roll back changes that you've made to a subtitle if you do not want those changes applied to a particular subtitle without causing any harm to your subtitles. So, the one thing I love about Subtitle Edit is that it has the option for you to roll back changes for the history of your changes. So, to navigate or get to that, uh, you'll need to go to edit, click on that, and then click on show history for undo. Just click on that. And once you click on that, you'll notice that there is the select time and description for all back. So, this is the time based on your computer and all that. So, it's around 2 a.m. when I did the different styles and all that. So, these are the changes, the description before converting to advanced substation alpha, advanced substation alpha styles and all that. So let's say we wanted to go back before we made this style that is called repetitive. Just click on this and then click on roll back. You'll notice what will happen to the subtitles. When we do that, everything goes back to the default. So that is how you can roll back changes in subtitle edit and avoid wasting time starting from scratch based on uh, changes that you made without knowing. I hope this video has been of value to you and that you're going to use it if you make any mistakes in subtitle edit. Thanks for watching.